Hallelujah. Now, first of all, let me hear somebody shout Hallelujah. Several years ago, New York, well, look, well, just say, almost at least over 30 years ago, there was a wedding I see, I on. in one of our churches in Lagos. They were in the vestry signing the register. The husband has signed. And the wife was about to sign. And then somebody called the husband. Only himself had his name called. And he answered. And dropped down and died. So there was confusion. There was fear. There was embarrassment. Just like the testimony you had yesterday, when they were christening a child, and the mother suddenly died. And so in the vestry, everybody was praying. Five minutes, ten, 20, 30. And the lead pastor remembered that I taught them something long ago. That when prayers don't work, try praise. So they began to praise God. The lead pastor ran into the church. And told the people, we are coming, we are coming. Because by now everybody was wondering, what, what are they signing? And everybody began to worship God. You are the King of Kings, you are the Lord of Lords. You are the unchangeable changer. There's nothing you cannot do. And suddenly, the groom sneezed. I said, what am I doing on the floor? I said, when you get up, we shall tell you. Tonight, somebody's about to be repositioned from death to life, from sorrow to joy. From embarrassment to testimony. If you are that fellow, if you are that fellow, I want you to praise God as if you don't know any other thing to do. Praise Him as if your life depends on it. Praise the Almighty God like we have never done before. Because tonight is about to reposition somebody. Praise him. 
Thank you, Jesus. All right. Let's be your name. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Praise Him, praise Him. King of glory, praise Him. Praise Jehovah. Hallelujah, amen. Praise Him. Praise Him, praise Him. The King of glory, praise Him. Praise him, praise him, King of glory, praise him, praise Jehovah, hallelujah, amen, amen. Praise him, praise him, the King of glory, praise him, praise Jehovah, hallelujah. Praise Him, King of glory, praise Him, praise Jehovah, hallelujah, amen, amen. Praise Him, praise Him, the King of glory, praise Him, praise Jehovah, hallelujah, amen. Let us praise Him. King of glory, praise Him, praise Jehovah, hallelujah, amen, amen. Praise Him, praise Him, the King of glory, praise Him, praise Him, Jehovah, hallelujah, amen. Thank you, Father. Bye-bye, Shehu. The Lord asked me to tell somebody tonight. He says, the storm is over. Let us praise him. King of glory, praise him. Praise Jehovah, hallelujah, amen, amen. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, 
I will praise him, King of glory, praise him, praise Jehovah, hallelujah, amen, amen. Praise him, praise him, the King of glory, praise Jehovah, hallelujah, amen. The Lord asked me to tell someone, help is coming rapidly your way. I saw the Let us praise him, King of glory, praise him. Praise Jehovah, hallelujah, amen, amen. Praise Him, I will praise Him, King of glory, praise Him. Praise Jehovah. Hallelujah, amen, amen. Praise him, praise him, the King of glory. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, Shion. The Lord asked me to tell someone. He said you can sleep soundly now. He said because the enemy has lost interest in your case. Thank you, my father. Glory be to your name. O God, if you Thank you for Monday. I do care for my job Monday. Thank you for Tuesday. I do care for my job Tuesday. Thank you for Wednesday. I do care for my job Wednesday. Thank you for yesterday. I do care for my job now. Thank you for today. I do care for me. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Tonight, Father. Do what you alone can do. At the end of everything, let your name be magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. I shake hands with one or two people and tell him or her, brother, sister, I love you. But my miracle will come before yours tonight. And then you may please be seated. Except those who are those who are born in the month of December. If you are born in the month of December, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> my father and my God, I commit your children born in the month of December into your hands. December is the last month of the year. In every area of the life of this, your children complete their miracles. 
made their testimonies complete. Give them a brand new beginning of joy, of success, of progress, of promotion, of anointing, of a desire to serve you. And let it be well with them. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Well, those of you born in December, let me hear you shout another hallelujah. And then you may please be seated. Let you know, Jajoko. Uh, I was standing on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And so you'll probably be wondering why am I sitting down today. I just want you to know that there's nothing wrong with me. But I'm sitting down today because there is no hurry tonight. A day like this comes only once in a lifetime. Please take my word for it. This is a night you will never, never, never forget. The number of children born since the beginning of the Congress had risen to 38. And the boys maintain their lead. 21 boys, 17 girls. So let the boys shout, Praise the Lord. <laughs> and let the girls shout, Hallelujah. By December 31, there will be a crossover service here by the grace of God. But as usual, you are free to hold your services in your various churches. Because there are some people who come to church only on December 31. So keep your church open so they can come in. But for those of us around here, we have the Holy Communion service at 7 o'clock. The last Holy Communion service of the year. And that will be followed by a service of songs. By our extraordinarily good choir. Don't you agree that they are good? Let's give the Lord a big round of applause for that choir. Very good, the best in the world. Oh, incidentally, the audio people, audio engineers, they have done very well during this Congress. I think we should give them a hand. I want to know Including the electrical department, they also tried. God bless you all.
the January Holy Ghost service, which will be the 5th of January 2024. Is in a mini or June 2024. You ask me why are you talking about 2024 now? Hey, you to be a because whether the devil likes it or not, you are going to see the new year. And we'll be discussing a new series. We'll be a new series. Entitled From the Mountain Top. Lati Ori Okewa Oni Akoli Nau Tell Ma Soro Li Lori So by the time I see you in January Ni Tori Ni Kwa Ti Ma Bari O Lord Nuto Mbo Ni Oshu Ke Kini Odun You will be on Mountain Top Amen Ori Oke Ten Te Ni Wa Wa Tell your neighbor I will see you at the top So Fe Ni Tim Belek Be Re Ru Be Mari O Loke A Good News For You Mo Ni Ro Yan Yo Fun O I asked Daddy, I said, uh, if you don't mind, how many people are you healing tonight? Mobile, I want to know I want me to live a worse on a lady. He said, Son, only your mom, your pony, they be difficult to count. You should relax it down. So get ready. Little in a baradi. Almighty God is going to surprise us tonight. Our our administration this evening will be in three small parts. One will be talking about divine repositioning. This will lead us to a period of prayers. And after that, there will be a brief talk that will lead us to Holy Communion service. And after that, there will be a brief talk that will lead us to anointing service. Well, after that, we will give you an opportunity to ask God for a Christmas present. And then, like I told you yesterday, we shall see what we shall see. <laughs> And like that young man said, somebody go catch him. And you come out, And the one way you know catch, God go dash you. I think every family needs a comedian. Glory be to God. First Samuel chapter 2. Samuel Kini Ori Keji. From verse 7 to 8. Lati S K J C Kejo. First Samuel chapter 2. Samuel Kini Ori Keji. From verse 7 to 8. S K J C Kejo. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and he lifted up. Oluwa so di talaka, o si so di oloro, o re sile, o si be soke. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the laws, and he has set the wall upon them. Ogbe talaka soki, lati inu erupe wa. Ogbe alagbe soki, lati oriya atan wa. Lati ko wan jok pe lu anwan ma alade. Lati mu wan jogun ite ogo, ni tori pe 
Awon aye ti Oluwa ni o si ti gbe aye ka ori won Divine repositioning Ishini nipo latoke wa Position matters Igbo ti eyan wa o se pataki Position matters a lot Igbo o se pataki gidi gidi The head is better than the tail Ori o san ju iru lo That's why the Deuteronomy 28 verse 13 You didn't hit the Deuteronomy ori keji din logbon ese ketala Deuteronomy 28 verse 13 The Deuteronomy ori keji din logbon ese ketala says you shall be head and not the tail O lo fi so wi pe iwo yo je ori be ni o ki yo je iru You shall be above only and not beneath Okay ni e o ma wa titi la e un yi ko si ni si ni ile Position matters. Equal. Oshie pataki. How important is it to be heard? Ba wolo se shie pataki to la ti jeori. You understand that by the fact that when they want your picture for your passport. Wo ele ya yi oni gba ti mo ba fe agoran re. Pele be la ti lo. For your passport. Fun a wo ron re la ti lo. Fun we ni se. I we ni se. I we ni. I we ni na. All they want to see is the picture of your head. O nti wan fe na ni a wo ron o ri re. They don't bother about the rest of the body. Ko si to kan wan kwe lu yi yoku a rai. That tells you how important the head is. E yi so fun o pataki bi o ri she se je. And I'm decreeing to every one of you here today. Mo wan sotele si bo kwe yi tim beni ilo ni. Young and old. Lo mande ati lagba. In the name that's above every other name. Mi oru konan to ju bo bo ru kolo. You shall be head. Ori. Ori le ma aje. To be first is better than to be last. La ti she bo ki ni osan ju ki e yon wa ni bo to re yon lo. When the president is passing through, nigbati a re ba nkoja. There's never anything called traffic jam. Ko si ohun ti an pe ni sun kere gba kere oko. The road will be clear. Ona ni lati la fun ni. If a messenger is passing by, ti eni ti an pe ran ni se ba nkoja. The story can be different. O itan na a ya to gede gede. When you read Genesis chapter 41, Genesis you can read it from verse 1 to 43. Genesis 41 from verse 1 to 43. Genesis you can read it from verse 1 to 43. It tells us the story of how Joseph overnight was uh, repositioned. Oh, so from what? Be as a she, Joseph, who knew Pope Bada, Lee, or as I live, Jock on, and he became prime minister. Josie D. Bucky Joba. The king said, or Bass, or we pay that there will be an advanced guard. I won't come what you want, my shall do the law. When he's coming, telling everybody, just bow down. See, oh, my sophomore, go when you're new, but in both we pay a thirty yiba. Clear the way for him. As the one who sends me is alive. From now on, when you travel, angels will clear the way for you. Yeah. On the other hand, if you are an ordinary servant. So, ni o na mira e weto ba je pe amo ipe don she ni kan lo lasan lo je. If instead of being the head, you are the tail. To ba je pe di po ko je ori iru ni o. You can even do something that is right. O ti le le she unto da gan. And be punished for it. Kan 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 tu fi ya je o le o lori. Joseph was just a slave. Eru lasan lasan ni Joseph u. What he did was right. Onto she odara. And the wife of the master lied against him. Subon yawo garek paromo. 
And who is the master going to believe? His wife or the ordinary slave? Say That's why the fellow who was below ended up in prison. From tonight onward. Lati your position will be the one that the Almighty God will give unto you. Amen. But to let you know how important position is, according to Amos chapter 3 verse 3, Amos 3 verse 3, the Bible says only people of the same category can work together. Birds of the same feather flock together. When the incurable is killed, the one who has been killed will leave the company of the Incurable. In John chapter 5, from verse 1 to 14, John 5, from verse 1 to 14, the moment the man by the pool of Bethesda got his healing, he left the company of the sick and never returned there. In the name that's above every other name, I'm talking by the power of God. Someone here will never sleep in an hospital bed again. Amen. Position matters. If someone is mad, it's not likely to stay in the company of those who are saying. If he's truly mad, they probably send him to an asylum. And when the captive is set free, he will return to a different category of people. In Daniel chapter 4, you can read the whole story. Daniel chapter 4, the whole story. When Nebuchadnezzar became mad, nobody told him to go and join the animals. He went voluntarily. But when God had mercy on him, and his senses were restored. He returned back to the past because position matters. When a sinner is truly saved, if you are genuinely saved, you will want to be in the company of those who are saved. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 9, you read it from verse 1 to 30. Acts chapter 9 from verse 1 to 30. When Saul of Tarsus got saved, he looked for someone who would help him to join the company of Christians. That's why the Bible says if you are truly born again, 
You cannot be unequally, unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Oh, Why? Because position matters. Now, it takes God to reposition somebody. We have dealt with any of these cases from Monday. It takes God to take you from the merry clay and put you on the rock to stay. Just as the uh, the man who preached first, I told you, you, you are struggling to be free, but you could, could not do it on your own. Jesus can re position you it takes the almighty god to reposition you from the valley of sorrow to the mountain top of praises we told you the story of Luke chapter 7 from verse 11 to 15. It Luke 7, 11 to 15. Luke Thank you, Father. Amen. The Lord said there's someone here. The only repositioning you are talking about is about marriage. Daddy asked me to tell you you will be settled next year. Or in Luke chapter 7 from verse 11 to 15, Luke, the widow of Nain was in the very valley of sorrow. And God intervened and moved him to someone who could wear the garment of praise for the rest of her life. Oh, see, what so the Nitoli wash your yoke, Fungo Poyoko, Jayere. Allow me to prophesy once again. Jackie Sotel is here, the calling, let us see. In the name that's above every other name, Niuru Koto Jububuru Kolo, somebody here who will never know sorrow again. Any Kawani, Tiko Nimai Banu Demon, Lai Lai. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm trying to move as quickly as possible. It, it takes God to take the barren and reposition her to a level where she will have many children. Like in the case of Hannah from First First Samuel chapter two verse twenty one. One who had no child became the mother of six. I thank God for all the testimonies of children born miraculously. Thank God for twins and triplets. By this time next year, in the mighty name of Jesus, there will be many more twins and many more triplets. Amen. It, it takes God to reposition you from being the one being pursued to become the one who is pursuing your pursuer. Like we learned yesterday. It takes God to reposition you from total failure 
to super success. Olorun nikan lo le so eni to ti ni ijakule repete di eni to se ase yori eyi ti an wo kogbon. Like in Acts of the Apostles chapter 5. Dey gbe o ti sele ni ise apostle ori karun. Thank you daddy. Daddy is showing. The Lord asked me to tell somebody. You will never have cause to complain again. Oh, Nira, woman, lie, lie. He said, because I will surround surround your life with wonders. Oh, Nini, to repay. Mafia polopo yanu ya yere ka. I think that should be me too, so I better say amen to that. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 5, from verse 14 to 16, hmm. the Bible The Lord asked me to tell someone who join me. And it took my darako mommy. That your breakthrough will be so big. That you will be a blessing even to your enemies. To be to get we pay wadi ibukun fun awon ota egan pelu in us chapter 5 from verse 14 to 16 apostle ise apostle ri karun ese kerin lade ke irin dinlogun we read about peter there akani pa ti peteru ni beyen whose shadow was healing the sick eni ti o jiji re nwo awon laisansan at the beginning peter was a total failure sugbon ni bere it was a man who fished all night and caught nothing. But God repositioned him. So He became the talk of the town. And the Lord told him that you will never have cause to complain how come God can reposition anybody? Because as we learned on Wednesday, I thank God for the testimonies coming all over the world. According to Jeremiah 32, verse 27, Thank you. The Lord asked me to tell you a story. Then give you a word for it. Several years ago, I traveled to Seoul, Korea, to attend a minister's conference. And there was about to sleep in at night in the hotel. There was a phone call. Uh, is that Pastor Adeboye? I said yes. Says Pastor Adeboye, Niyamuni Beni. We have found your passport. We atiri we rina. I didn't know my passport was missing. My passport? Then I quickly checked and I found out, hey, the Lord asked me to tell somebody, your miracle will arrive before you know you need it. Hey. 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 Ise iyanu e 
yo de ko ti e to ma ko ni lo e Jeremiah 32 verse 27 You wait Jeremiah ori ikeji le logbon ese keta di ni ogbon Our God is the God of all flesh Olorun wa ni Olorun gbogbo eran ara Nothing is too hard for him ko si ohun ti o soro fun and also he is sovereign. Psalm 115 verse 3. Psalm 115 verse 3. He says our God is in the heavens. He does as he pleases. You know he told us on Wednesday. He said that we heal. Who can stop me? Is the sovereign one, is the original majesty. And he's going to reposition somebody today. Amen. Whether your enemy likes it or not. Now, it's also the Lord of hosts. Like we learned yesterday, there is no force anywhere that can stop him. So that's why in the text that we read at the beginning, in 1 Samuel chapter 2, 7 to 8, Samuel 2, 7 to 8, Samuel 2, 7 to 8, you can raise up one and bring down another. You can pick up a beggar from the downhill. And keep on raising him until he begins to sit among princes. That's why is the one who can reposition. So, but the question now that came to my mind when he gave me the theme for this year's Congress, the question I asked, I said, Daddy, you don't have to answer me, you know. Daddy, you're my daddy, I, I, I'm your favorite son. Daddy, me leje mo si je a yu o mo yi. Why now? Ki lo je to je kwi isi si yid gani. Why is it now you want to reposition some people? It is to je kwi asi ko yid gani le fe wa shi a wan mi ni po kwa da. And you know what he said? E wa monto so for me. He said number one. Kwi a koko. I have decided to do a new thing. <laughs> you know the meaning of that? Your life is about to take a new turn. In Isaiah 43 verse 19, Isaiah 43 verse 19. Amen. Amen. I say congratulations to this fellow. Because God said there is someone here today. In your family, there will be no more wasted lives. Thank you, Father. I saw for three verse nineteen, the Almighty God says, Ah, behold, I will do a new thing. We are saying, Look at the logo, yes, I cock and you look no longer so we pay key a sea, a mule shield to come. He said, I will even make a way in the desert. You pay a mule muki on a good while at you know I give you rivers will begin to flow in the desert at you. Don't you know I shall like you better see the You know, it is in the time of hardship, and then we pay as you go in Lira as when as you go in Lira as when God. Likes to prove himself. 
I rejoice with those of you who are true children of God. As God lives, you will soon be rejoicing. Amen. And then another question that you may want to ask. Because when God is talking of repositioning, first, as soon as I heard it, I, I said, I hope I'm included. Because it tells me the reason he's doing it now is because there are some people whose miracles can no longer wait. I want to come A day too late, it will be too late. To ba je duro iseju kan ti ni a ti peju a ti bo sori. You know the story of the widow of Zarephath. Nje mo itan ti obirin opo ara Zarephath. First King chapter 17. The way oba kini ori keta dilogun. Verse 8 to 16. Ese kejo de ikerin dilogun. First King 78 to 16. Yo ba kini ori keta dilogun ese kejo si ikerin dilogun. If help had not come at that crucial moment, it would have been too late. Oh, that's why I rejoice when I heard God say that help is coming rapidly towards somebody. Amen. And the Almighty God wants me to tell someone here tonight concerning the miracle you are waiting for no more waiting Amen. so we come to the question who needs reposition is there anybody here today who wants God to reposition him? You see, no matter where you are, God can take you higher still. You remember the story of David? He was a shepherd boy. God repositioned him. And he was anointed king before his brethren. Then he was repositioned to the cave of Adulam. And a lot of uh, people in distress gathered themselves together to him. The Bible says he became captain. Then he was repositioned higher. And he became the king of Judah. And he was repositioned higher. And he became the king of Israel. And he was repositioned higher. <laughs> And became the father of the king of kings. So it doesn't matter how great you think you are. God can take you higher still. By the time I see you in January, you will not be where you are now. Because 
You can go from sick to healed. Ali gwo kuro ni alaisan di losi kwe ni ti amularada. You can go from healed to whole. Ali mwo akuro ni kwe ni ti amularada losi kwe ni ti amularada di pipe. You can move from whole to a healing vessel, healing others. Ati le le mwo kuro ni kwe lara pipe losi kwe ni ton wwe ni son. You can move from somebody who heals by touching. Ale mu okro ni po eni to je pe oni lati gbo wole ni ki awon alaisan to ri iwosan. And move on to a level where your handkerchiefs will do the healing. Lo si ipo to je pe asonuju eni o ma se ise iwosan. And you can move from that even to a stage where your shadow will be healing the sick. O ti le le gun lo lati beyen lo si ipele to je wi pe you can move from destitute to comfortable. You can move from comfortable to rich. You can move from rich to wealthy. You can move from wealthy to prosperous. You can move from prosperous to flourishing. In the name that's above every other name. No matter how high you are today, God will reposition you higher. Now, so that we can have time to pray and, and go on to other things. What we got required of me? We got required of me. We got required of me. For me to be the one who will be repositioned today. Let us pray. God is sovereign. He does as he pleases. But it's not arbitrary. Everything he does, he does. For a reason. He looks at the heart. He knows your heart. When God suddenly said in Genesis chapter 12, from verse 1 to 3. Genesis 12, 1 to 3. Genesis Uri Kijila, Ese Kini De Iketa. Angel said to Abraham, I said, Abraham. Those of Abraham, okay, well, Abraham. I'm going to bless you. Ma book, move more. I'm going to make you great. Ma si so din la. I'm going to make your name great. Ma so ru kore din la. I'm going to turn you to a blessing. Ma si so di ibuku. I'm going to curse those who curse you. Any bad fury, my fury. I'm going to bless those who bless you. I want to bless you, reform, my sure reform. Through you, I'm going to bless the whole world. Ni pare ma buku mo go dili aye. Ah, what has Abraham done? Ki lo lo ni Abraham umse. Why did God just pick him out of the crowd? Ki lo de to lo ruko fi da yoda fo la ni anwe niyo. To reposition him. Lati shi ni po pada. Because God knew. Ni to ri o lo ru mo ni. The God who knows the end from the beginning. O lo ru to mo o kwi lati ibere wa. That one day. Be ni o jokon. When I asked this same Abraham. To give me his son Isaac, the only son Isaac that he loves. He will not deny me. God knew in advance that Abraham is going to be his friend. Abraham, you the Agbarare. He knows you. Oh, He knows that if he prospers you, 
o mo pe to n ba so odi oloro to je odi olowo you will serve him with the money pe wa fi owo yen si wa fi mo olorun is that correct show to ni you didn't answer me now oh down ni si si yo he knows that if he promotes you o mo pe to n ba gbe oga when you get to the position nigba to ba de po na you won't forget him oh ni gba gbe e he knows your heart olorun mo he knows tomorrow from even yesterday oh mo ola lata na gan when he decided to relocate or uh, change the position of david nigba to pe nu pe ohun o si david ni po pada he said i have found a man o so pe mo ti ni ri okunrin kan who we do my will eni ti o se gbogbo ife mi as chapter 13 verse 22 the way is apostle ori keta la ese keji le logun as starting you can read it from 21 to 22 the si apostle ori keta la ese kokan le logun ati keji le logun god knows olorun mo who will be grateful after he have been repositioned eni ti o ma ja eni to mo re leyin igba ta ba ti si nipo pada ton He knew what he was doing when he chose Solomon to be king. Oh man, don't say. Nigba to fi yon Solomon ni lati di oba. He knew he would return to say thank you. Oh man, kwe akpada wala ti so lati dupe. And not only does he choose people because of uh, the intent of their hearts. Ki se kwe o kan yon yon ni kan ni pati e ro kan wani kan ni. He also rewards those who are diligent. O tun ma nsan fun awon ti won fi ara bale wa. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 29. We owe ori ikeji le logun ese ikokan di ni ogbon. Proverbs 22 verse 29. We owe ori ikeji le logun ese ikokan di ni ogbon. Lord ask me to tell someone. Olorun ni ki so fun enikan. You think you are already at the highest possible level you can ever be. Oro ko ti de be de ke bi to le de. The Lord might almighty God ask me to tell you trust me. Olorun Olodumare ni so fun o gba mi gbo and I will surprise you. Ma si ya o lenu. He rewards those who are diligent. O man ran o man san fun awon ti won fi aise mele si se won. See as thou a man diligent in his business. He worry eniyan to fi aise mele si se re. He will stand before kings not before me men. O won o duro ni waju awon oba ki o si duro ni waju awon eniyan lasan. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Iwe Eberu ori kokan lai se ikefa. God says Olorun so wi pe Hebrews 11 verse 6 Iwe Eberu ori kokan lai se kefa He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him Oni oluse san awon ti won fi ara bale wa He knows your heart O mo kan re He knows what you will do in the future O mo nti wa se lojo ola He knows you want to serve him O mo ko fe si yin Only you don't have the means Pe o kan o kan ni pa lati se be ni You don't have the position O ri po lati se be ni and he wants to reposition you osi fe se oni po pada and of course he has us prayers osi n gbo adura ba kan na matthew chapter 7 from verse 7 to 8 we matthew ori keje ese keje si kejo matthew 7 from verse 7 to 8 matthew ori keje ese keje si kejo yes he said in his word if you ask o so ni na ro re pe biwo ba ma bere you shall be given a o fun o if you seek to ba wa kiri you will find wa ri and if you knock to ba si wa kan lekun the door will be open unto you a o si lekun na fun o so somebody is going to ask god tonight e ni kan be ni to ma bere lowo olorun father be baba reposition me si mi ni po pada and i will show you the kind of good boy good girl i can be ma si fi han gege omo daada iwe eniyan ti mo je thank you father amen i think this must be me but i will tell you too emi mo le ro pe emi ni olorun ba we ni yin sugbon ma so fun yin na the lord said there's someone here tonight olorun so pe ni kan be ni la le i have to write it down oni ko ko le o so before the middle of next year ki 
Odun to nbo to de idaji. Your cup will be running over. Yeah. Ago re yo ma kun akun wo sile. Who will he reposition? Tani Olorun ma si ni po pada. The one who has the correct art. Any tio ni okan pipe who is determined to serve God. Any to pe nu lati sin Olorun. Lord, reposition me. Oluwa, she me ni po pada. And watch and see. Ko si wa won ti ma se fun o. It's looking for those who will diligently seek him. Don't wa I want you farabale lati wa gidi gidi. It's ready, it's ready to reposition those who will be hard working. Oh, ti pinu lati she I want you to see she takun takun ni po pada. You know, one one of my daughters was sharing the testimony. O kan lara won mo birin mi o nso eri re that if you knock at a door many will be open be to ba kan le kun kan opa si i am not saying those say the lord now mi o so wipe bayi di olorun so o i'm just decreeing mo kan so aso tele ni mo n pa ase because you are here tonight nitori ko wa ni la leyi you too will knock at one door amen you won na wa kan le kun kan and many doors will be open unto you. Yeah. But that is going to me hard work. It's not going to reposition a lazy fellow. The lazy fellow will remain lazy. Any to do le a le a fa jo no ni o wa titi lai. A, a friend of mine was talking the other day. Or let me consult on ni o jo bi melo say. He said there is a saying. Who pe o ro kan wa? That power corrupts. We a a bara man so ni di any di any di baje. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Be si ni a bara pata pata man so ni di di baje pata pata ni. He said he doesn't believe that. We only o mu o banye bo. He said, what power does is that if you are already corrupt, power gives you an opportunity to show. You want God to reposition you and place you on a higher level? What are you going to do when you get there? He answers prayers. And he honors faith. He said in Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Mark 9. Verse 23. He said, if only you can believe. All things are possible to him that believes. If you believe that God is going to reposition you tonight, he will do it. Because if you believe that the man talking to you now has not been lying by the grace of God from all the testimonies. Every book kept on saying, Daddy said, Daddy so by Daddy said, Daddy so pay. It's not Daddy saying. He said, Daddy lo so. It is Daddy speaking. It's Daddy speaking what God has told him. Daddy can so until Lord until Basoni. I thank God for the testimony of the man who said he heard that the blood has stopped. Oh, I do pay ni pa for Lord ni pa rakuni to ni ungo pe aso pe eje eje na until duro. How do I know somebody is bleeding? But when you must see him, when he can't be, he can't get the lie. But God knows. To my Lord, Mama. And He told me. What is so funny? Never pass it through. What is so funny? The same God told me. Our Lord, who cannot do what so funny? That tonight. We let let you. He will heal so many. We owe no one for love, my son. To beg, yeah. It will be difficult to count them. You sure of who are lacking one? 
The same God told me that last month we must pull down all walls. All mountains must come down to prepare the way for tonight. The same God who when he speaks is done he is saying tonight you cry to him in faith he will reposition you tonight. Are you ready to pray? From the way you answer, you can see that you are not sure. Maybe I should ask you the question. Are you ready to pray? Maybe I should ask you the question. When do you want to be repositioned? Uh, at the crossover service in December 31. When are you ready to pray? How are you going to pray? Diligently. Write down your prayer points. Because session one is about over now so you can move on to prayer when you are ready you write down your prayer points number one you want to thank him that he made it possible for you to be here because by the time you are leaving this, this holy city, you'll be a different person entirely. Write down point one. You just want to thank him. Number two. You say, Father. Make me a healing vessel. So me di anything we need, son. And I will heal the sick for you. Masi wo and one license of more free of charge. Like bo wo. Make me a healing vessel. So me di anything we need, son. I'm not just talking about healing or making me whole. I want to go beyond that. I want to be a healing vessel. Number three. Number three. I will heal people for you. I will heal people for you. And I will be your treasurer. Let me flourish, Lord. And I will be your treasurer. Number four. Father, promote me. Father, me. And I will use the position to serve you. Father, promote me. Baba, be me ga. And I will use the position to serve you. Number five. Father, Baba. Increase your anointing upon me. And I will rescue those who are perishing. And I will increase your anointing upon me. So if I'm a ready in Lalori me. And I will rescue 
to perish. Benny Massey died once in shape, but cruel and no barn. Number six, a kefa. Father, Baba, give me all round repositioning. A for me, is she book by the Nibu Bona. And I will give you all the glory. Father, Baba, give me all round repositioning. And I will give you all the glory. Number seven. It's your own private prayer. Maybe you want a particular section of your life where you want God to reposition you speedily. You have 50 minutes. The altar is open. Come and pray with faith diligently lie and within the next 15 minutes the almighty god will do something you can't even dream possible
to Father. Baba Shem. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be. God will grant your request. He will reposition you. He will give you all round repositioning. And when he has done it, you will not fail him. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You can go back to your seat now. As we move very quickly. To the Holy Communion service. Thank you, Jesus. I am serving the God of miracles. I know as I know. I am serving the God of miracles. I know, yes, I know. Hallelujah. What about you? positioning probably took place in Exodus chapter 12. You can read the whole chapter but from verse 1 to 36 we'll do. 
ele ka gbogbo ori na won ese kini de kan ridin logbon ato as when god reposition the whole nation in one night igba yen ni olorun si odidi orilede kan ni po pada loru ojo kan they've been in bondage for 430 years won ti wa ninu igbekun fun irinwo odun o le ogbon and then one night god says the time has come la le ojo kan olorun wa so pe akoko to and i'm decreeing for you mo tin pa lase fun o your family idile re your village your town ilu yin tabi ile to yin even your nation ati orile ede re pelu tonight laleyi the time has come amen a koko tito now when god reposition israel nigba ti olorun si israel ni po pada he reposition them from poverty to wealth o si won ni po pada lati nu osi lo sinu oro the bible says that they were overloaded with wealth bi be le so wi pe a kun won pelu oro lopolopo because the enemy was saying eh hey, go quickly nitori o ta so pe e sha ma lo e se kan 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 e ma lo as the lord lives bi olorun tin be laye someone here tonight listening to me enikan ni lo laleyi to ngbo mi your family will never know poverty again amen idile re o tun ni mo ohun ti an pe lo si mo lai lai how is god going to do it i don't know olorun ba o olorun se fe se ko ye mi i'm only speaking on behalf of the most high emi kan so gege bi asoju olorun olodumare ni they were repositioned from bondage to freedom ashi won ni po pada kuro ni oku eru lo si ipo ominira some of you will testify opo ninu yan le jeri si that before you got home from the congress we pay care to dele lati le pago yi the number one enemy of your family is gone oh ta to leju ni idile re ati di ohun ti olorun pale re mo they were repositioned from sickness to health a si won ni po pada kuro ninu aisan lo si ile ra pipe the bible says when they left ibele so pe nigbati won kuro nbe ti won lo there was no single feeble one among them ko si abirun kan laarin won all the aches and pains of the lashes of the egyptians gbogbo ohun tami ohun romi lati nu egba awon ara egypti had vanished gbogbo e ti dopin i'm saying it one more time mo so le kan si in the mighty name of jesus christ ni oruko nla ti jesus christi the someone here who will never sleep in an hospital bed again eni kan wa ni ti o ni sun ni akete aisan lo bi tu mo lai lai they were repositioned from sorrow to joy asi won ni po pada kuro ninu ibanu je lo sinu ayo and you won't know sorrow again amen o si ni mo ibanu je mo lai lai o that night la leki they had a meal won je un je kan that meal has become the foundation for what we call the holy communion o nje na ni ipile o nti an pe ni o nje ale oluwa loni it's a night when god is going to reposition people e je ale ti olorun si awon eniyan ni ipo pada that's why we want to have the holy communion e di ni yi ta fi fe je o nje ale oluwa loni when you come forward to or when they come to serve you the holy communion tonight nigba tan ba wa fun oni o nje ale oluwa lalei 
take this meal by faith that by tomorrow morning you yourself will know that you have been repositioned and so the pastors will come and attend to you when you are taking the bread you just be thanking God that your time has come at last to be free from aches and pains. When they serve you the wine, you wait till we have all been served and then we will pray together. In the meantime, the choir will continue to minister and the pastors will continue to serve the bread The Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, the very night in which he was betrayed, the very night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and said, take, eat, this is my body broken for you do this in remembrance of me go ahead and eat and continue to thank God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit
Thank you. When you drink the wine tonight, your prayer will be Father, Baba, let this be a signal to heaven that my time has come at last. In the same manner, he took the cup when he has sought, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as soft as you drink it in remembrance of me. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Ati ti e mimimo. Thank you, Father. Let this be a signal, Lord, to the highest heavens. At my time has come at last. My time for repositioning has come at last. Okay.
Thank you, Father. Eshiyom Baba. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ni oru konla Jesu lagbadura. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Ben yori loru kwa Jesu. As the Almighty God lives. Be alone, the Lord, my redeemer, lay. Concerning your repositioning, there will be no more waiting. In Jesus' mighty name. Now you can please be seated. Pass the cups to the eyes. So that the ushers can come to collect. And then we have come to the anointing service. As you go to the phone, if I'm your Roro Yoni, this time there will be no delay at all. When you look at the story of Peter, you will see that the first time he had a uh, a divine repositioning was in Luke chapter 5 from verse 1 to 11. Luke 5, 1 to 11. As when he fished all night and he caught nothing. Jesus came into his boat and in what throw he caught more than enough fish for his boat. Then the Lord said to him, From now on, you will no longer catch fish, you will be catching men. And then years later, years later, he nearly went back to his former position. He said in John chapter 21, John chapter 21, he said to his brethren, I go fishing. He wanted to go back to where God has already promoted him. Fortunately, Jesus intervened. But then something happened on the day of Pentecost. The fire of the Holy Spirit came upon him. And from that day onward, it was forward ever, backward never. So the purpose of the anointing service tonight it's for God to put a seal upon your repositioning that things can only get better for you and never worse. Amen. As soon as you come forward to where the pastors will be lining up to anoint you. And the oil touches your head. Your prayer will be in the mighty name of Jesus. From now on, for me, Adeboye, for me, Adepiton, Adeboye, it will be forward ever and backward never. I wadu, I wadu, ni okpai biti mi yo marisi. That's the prayer you will pray. I do that to you, I will anoint my wife. 
my, my wife will yeah. help me anoint the continental officers and our guests. And then the continental officers will go and anoint the choir. And all pastors will go ahead and anoint the congregation. From now on, forward ever, and backward never. Over to you. Band, you're doing a great job. God bless you. If you have not yet been anointed, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have not yet been anointed, you are the only one to shout hallelujah. It's the same. Section. What happened? Maybe you should begin to come forward. Come forward. If you have not been anointed, please come forward very quickly. We have about two little or two or three. Not little, major things to do very quickly. One, we want to say thank you to God. Two, we want to give you an opportunity to ask God for a Christmas present. And three, three, I've been asked to anoint your handkerchief specially today. And any time you need to go for any interview, make sure you take that handkerchief along. And you'll be surprised how easily doors will open unto you. So those of you who have not yet been anointed, please come forward. The rest of us, let's take our thanksgiving offering. Let's say thank you to the Almighty God for what He has already done. And after that, we will proceed quickly. Has anyone been blessed tonight? If you have been blessed, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now you're going to stand on your feet. If you are not already standing.
and raise up your handkerchiefs uh, for special anointing. And then you will ask God for a very special Christmas gift. I'm going to pray for you. But I give you just two minutes to ask God for that special Christmas gift. Something that you will remember this Congress by. So, go ahead, ask the Almighty God. Yes, what do you call me? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, my Father and my God, I can't thank you enough for what we have done tonight. For the healings, for the deliverances, for repositioning your children for a brand new beginning. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Now, Daddy, as I wave my hands, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let your anointing flow through all pieces of cloth lifted up to you now. I'm praying that wherever these handkerchiefs are waved, ways will open mightily. Wherever these handkerchiefs are used, divine favor, divine support, divine promotion, divine acceleration. Give to your children in Jesus' name. Daddy, Daddy, I hereby decree that for all this, your children, from today onward, it will be forward ever. A backward never. The way you alone can do it. The way you turn a piece of jungle to this city. Surprise all your children. <laughs> Before the new year, give your children something to shout about. Before the middle of next year, let everybody begin to ask your children, how are you doing it? 
e je ki gbogbo awon eni o ma bere lowo awon omo yi ge bo le se nse all those who have gone before them gbogbo awon ti won ti lo saju won let your children overtake them all e je ki awon omo yi o le won ba and father baba I'm praying especially for your ministers who have been walking, praying, day and night. The choir, the ushers, the engineers, the counselors, the people cooking. The doctors, the midwives, the security department, all these people who have been working hard before the new year, reward them specially. Every one of them, counselors, sanitation department, and all those I can't even remember, reposition them all. Every ministry represented here today, reposition them. Let them become mighty. All those who have come all over the world, by the time they get back to their nations, let revival break out. Father, my God, my own Christmas present request is that whatever this your children have asked, give to them all. Give them more than sufficient. And then don't let them forget their father. Bless this offering. Sanctify it. Use it for your glory. And I pray that this your children will never borrow again. Thank you, my father. Go with your children as they go. And let the testimonies begin to flow in. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you very much. Now, let somebody shout hallelujah. Yes, I, just one or two announcements. <laughs> Number one, next Sunday in all your churches, hold the special Thanksgiving service for the Congress. On Sunday here, my family and I will be holding our own Thanksgiving service. The rest of today, Saturday, the Congress continues with the youths. They will be in charge. And the Almighty God will do mighty things among them. And the ministers are free to go home from here. Uh, if you believe that your own miracle is going to be the biggest of all, shout the biggest, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
And then wave your handkerchief. So that the open doors will begin straight away. Wave your handkerchief. Let the angel see. And rejoice. By the next time I see you, you will already be on mountain top. Shout one more big hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus.